It is 6 a.m. I just snuck out of bed with the boys. Um, working a little bit. And then once they get up, I'll actually get up. But right now I'm just snuggling with Gage, answering some emails. It's like 6, I think. Oh, it's a little bit lighter. I think you can see the outline of our heads. Drakey's awake. You want to say good morning? I think it's only been like 15 minutes. He usually doesn't sleep much longer. Good morning. After I, oh, after I get up. <laughs> but I was restless. Good morning. Working. Deacon's still, I'm actually like on my computer now. Deacon's still asleep. And Drake is driving cars and listening to Peppa Pig. Um, yeah. Deacon, he needs his sleep. School's taking it out of him. He's like evil zombie f five-year-old if he doesn't sleep a lot. So um, he's sleeping and we're keeping our distance from him so that he stays asleep. So hopefully he sleeps good for a little bit. Got attention to myself talking. Read, and now we're reading. Okay, we'll read. That one is shit. It's a shirt. <laughs> I did not funny. mean for I'm the camera. No, it's not funny. What's this, Drakey? Uh, milk. What color is it? Uh, uh, white. I turned on the camera to say. Well, this one is white. Yeah, it's white. Good job. What's this? Turned on the camera to say I grapes. need to like get through all their books grapes. and get rid of all these because grapes. those are grapes. What color are they? Uh, and he <laughs> the shirt. It's a purple one. Yeah. So uh, we're drawing a bath for the boys, and they're going to take a bath. I'm going to sit here and work a little bit. I can see them, so don't panic. Um, normally, it's 8. Normally, all the girls are here already that I normally watch, but on Wednesdays, I don't have them. So I guess it's not normal. Wednesdays, I don't have them. Today. Wednesdays are like my off catch-up days, kind of. But, uh, yeah, we're just we're able to be loungy. Eventually, I'll do something. At least, well, let's be honest. I'm not going to do something. I'm going to probably just put my hair in a nicer ponytail um, and get dressed. But right now. The boys want a red bath. I bought this to dye Play-Doh. Um, but I'm going to use it in their bath. We'll see what they say. Yummy. Don't drink your bath of water. Oh my. Put it in my tub. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Oh, Drakey, we gotta get it out of your hair. It'll dye your hair. Bubblegum. Is it bubblegum? Yeah. I can't imagine that being good. Don't eat it. Okay, so the boys are out of the bath. I'm somewhat somewhat dressed. Not even I don't even match. This has been my morning. So um, another mama here in our, our YouTube community had sent me some Mary Kay stuff. And I'm going to be doing a review on it. Because I am loving I put on a little bit. All I'm wearing is a little bit of blush. Boys, Deacon, your clothes are not on. Get your clothes on right now. Um, one coat of their mascara. Like, my makeup literally took me maybe 45 seconds. I just do my eyebrows really fast. Mascara. And then a little bit of blush, and that's all that I have on. And I am loving this mascara. You see it? I don't know the best way to show you. Anyways, I'll be doing a review soon, and hopefully we can uh, we can support her. She's actually kind of going through something similar to me. So, um, anyways, I've got to feed these kids. We have to leave in 20 minutes to go take Deacon to school. So, for breakfast this morning, I just threw these in the toaster. I made them yesterday. I had thrown them in a bag though. I put them in the freezer, so I toasted those along with some apple slices. So I am, here I'll try to, I'll squat down low. I am cutting up um, peppers right now for Deacon's lunch. For breakfast, I just heated up some, you'll see it in my meals video, but just some, um, what do you call it? Uh, a French toast from yesterday. I'm going to make myself a shake or a smoothie or something here in a minute. I'll go lower. 
so I have to pay attention. Uh, with his lunch, I just try to make sure that I pack at least one fruit, at least one vegetable, and then some, you know, some carbs, some protein, just some stuff to like sustain him throughout the day. And so, um, yeah, doing that right now. And then we gotta get out of the house. Oh, in six minutes. We're slacking today, bad. So what did you do your face right there? Mmm, fell off my bike. You did? Yes! Ow. You don't want that kind? I don't like it. What? I, I just bought a box from Costco. Uh, I want the cinnamon yes. one. Oh, you just don't like the banana one. Yeah. You are a cinnamon boy, aren't you? What about this one? No, that one's not. That's ap apple apple. Apple strawberry? You want to try apple strawberry? Or apple cinnamon? I guess I'll feed apple banana to your brother. This is my breakfast this morning. I've got ice, water, half of one of these like little coffee packet things. And then I'm gonna do a, a scoop of Shakeology. I've had, I've had, look at how mangled my bag is. I've had the Shakeology, it's the chocolate vegan. For, Drakey, Drakey, one second. Forever it seems like, like six months probably. Um, I am a, a beach body consultant. I'll leave a link. Ah, stop it for my beach body stuff below if you're interested or if you have any questions. I don't love the flavor, but it really does make me feel full and it makes me feel good. So, um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I alternate between this and a bunch of other different ones. So, um, that's why there's still so much. And clearly my bag, my bag had broke. Sad. But we are off to take Deacon to school. I just did a lot in 10 minutes. Breakfast of champions right here. Deacon's at school now. Drake and I are home. We're going for a little... Say hi. We're going for a little walk. A little nature walk. Not really nature walk. It's more of a cement half walk. But just getting a little exercise. I'm still drinking breakfast. So, so we finally had a stoplight. We've been going forever. Um, I changed. I have a... This isn't an interview, but this is some marketing that I'm going to be doing for... An old friend kind of like a, a swaparoo and so he's gonna help me hopefully with my car a little bit he's been kind of my go-to person and then I'm gonna help him market his business so all right anyways we're going to lunch right now so there is a target right there and my body is like reaching for target but I'm on a target strike because I can't afford target I can't even afford to buy like dish soap in target because it's too expensive when you look at everything to and from the dish soap <laughs> so we're gonna grab lunch um also before we left it's now it's 11 52 so we're a little early but before that i spent an hour on the phone with the company that i do their bookkeeping for so um yeah drakey's just being a really good boy he was a little tear when i was recording but um he let me he let me have that hour to work so that was nice and now hopefully this goes really well he said there's another company another like a, a car type company that needs some some marketing done so hopefully i can make this like a hopefully it's like a double whammy and i can i can get some work good with it at least just you know help out another local business while kind of helping me at the same time i changed what i'm wearing let me fix it. it's actually a really cute dress i got it from thread up I will leave a link below for free $10. This dress was $10, for example, so you'd, all you'd have to pay is like $2 for shipping. And this is the dress. Can you see it? Hold on. Is that going to work? Whoa. The pattern is super cute. Oh, I'm going to flip it over and see if I can't show you better. It's noon, so the sun is like, I have to position just right here so you guys can see it. But it's got a, fun, a ton of fun colors, and I think it's a great fall dress. But... If you refer a friend, they get $10, you get $10. So um, it's a win-win for both of us. Anyway. Drake, you want ketchup? Yeah? Here you go, buddy. So we just finished lunch. It was absolutely delicious. And it was a good meeting. And it was fun. Um, kind of like get out of the house and do something different. We're going. I am going to do a big favor for a friend of mine who helped me out. Um, it's a little like unorthodox, but 
we have a little bit of time before I have to get Deacon from school and we're like rolling up to this next stoplight and uh, yeah I yeah I'll just I'll, I'll show you guys once we get there it's gonna be a little different we're gonna be breaking in it's like breaking and entering <laughs> okay so I broke into my friend's house and what I'm doing is cleaning out their fridge and their pantry because everything in it expired oh like I don't know, four plus years ago. <laughs> so I was over here the other day and I was like, oh, I'll just make something for breakfast and um, realized that everything's very expired. So I said that I was going to come back the day before trash day and do it. And they're like, okay, thinking it's a joke. I'm back. And I'm cleaning out and I'm making a nice little grocery list of everything that's still, <laughs> that's, I'm, that I'm throwing away here. The white right here. I just use this. So I'm, uh, I'm doing that here. Let me see if I can't open this pantry and show you all the goodies. So throw those blueberries away. That package of blueberries that I just had in my hand, like light as a feather. It's that old. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. So let's just let's just see here what we got. Um. Okay. So this is actually good. This is good until 2016. Let's move back a few rows. Riceroni. Best Buy, oh, that's 2013, so not too bad. But bad enough that there might be little bugs, you know? So I'm just gonna go through here and make sure everything is still, you know, reasonable. If it's like within a year, I think I'll probably, probably leave it depending on what it is. Some of that stuff though, like these kind of dried goods are just, they get so nasty. You know, you get those little weevils or whatever they're called. So not worth, that's two years. Not worth keeping, you know? But, and then salad dressing. That stuff always seems to expire so fast. Yep, it's old too. So, anyways, that's what I'm doing. It's like a little, uh, they agreed to it, so I'm not just like coming in and throwing away all their food, but, you know, just kind of, just kind of helping a friend out. I was, I've been joking about doing this for them for a year now, so, um, does anybody know when anchovy paste <laughs> expires? And this is an open box of Zatarans, which is probably, yeah. So see here, here's an example. I'll leave the anchovy paste. This is just an example of what I'm dealing with here and why I am just taking it upon myself to, <laughs> to clean for them because I don't have enough to clean in my house. All right, so do you see this here? Expired December 3rd, 2009, and we're into, what, 2014? So it's five years expired. You want that bar? What is it? It's probably expired. That's what it is. So let's eat it. Yeah, it's expired 2013. We'll probably leave it. I think I brought some bars over here. Let's find one of mommy's. Okay, so the worst thing was some Jif peanut butter. It was expired in 2009 so not too bad now before you think I'm totally like inappropriate here there's actually some of my handiwork that's left from about a year ago see spices so they're nice and organized yeah that was me they were all over the place when I was cooking I'm like I have to like hone this in so that was actually they don't cook much <laughs> that was left from a year ago so um I'm done it took me about a half hour to come in and just like clean out everything but I think they'll be happy I made them a grocery list of things that were expired, expired. And anything that was in the last year, I just kind of made note of so that they knew. So, Or that is that it's like a year done. Because sometimes things are good for longer than they say. Um, but anyways, that's it. <laughs> Crazy. How was school today? Oh, let's not, guys, let's not fight. Drakey didn't nap. He was supposed to fall asleep on our way after we ate lunch. Oh, Dredos. We're gonna go snuggle for a little bit and pull up his buckles. So we have some friends coming over here in just a little bit and he needs a little bit of a nap. Um, I'm gonna sit with him for a few minutes and then I wanna get out of this dress. Like my sh I'm all disheveled. Um, I need to figure out a good, a, a good like bra situation for this thing. If it sits perfectly and I pull this down, you can't see it, but if I don't, then you do. Uh, oh. Anyway, I'm looking the wrong way. So I'm gonna snuggle him for a minute. Deacon is outside. Caliber's right next to me. Wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> ah. 
okay, Drake. <laughs> I'm working a little bit before they come over here, and Deacon decided to paint my toes. So, Deacon's painting my toes. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Watch your hand, honey. You just put it in paint, I think. Yep. Alright, I'm going to clean my bathroom really quick. Got my homemade cleaner, old cloth diaper. And, uh... <laughs> It's that, I'm that weird. My friend isn't here yet. I just took the trash down. I forgot last week, which was a major shame on me. I had cleaned out my garage, so my trash dumpster thingy was full. And yeah, I had court last week and my brain was just not here. So anyhow, uh, the boys are eating apples. I am stuffed from lunch. I ate so much. I'm such a pig. It came out and he's like, that's really big. I'm like, yeah, and I ate the whole thing, so... So they just got here. I am wiping down the counter super quick. Well, um, Deacon lets them in, so yeah. I don't know how much you guys will see here in the next few hours. Oh, it's been like, I don't know, 10 minutes. There's a little more outside too on the trampoline. Deacon. Okay, so our friends are here. I'm going to change back into that dress I was in earlier because I got an email from that company that wants to interview me. Um, kind of unorthodox to interview at six, but whatever. It's it's casual. I'm going to leave my hair in a pen. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go there. We're going to go to a park and let the kids play and do homework. And, you know, I'll run over and I'll, I'll do that interview and then we'll just, you know, hang out until it's time to go home. So time to change. Opted for something not so dressy because it's really windy outside and we're going to the park before and after we talked about this And it's not like a formal interview. I'm just wearing this shirt. I just spilled water on it and then jeans And then let me show you my shoes <laughs> Check it out. Thank you Deacon <laughs> Okay, so I'm just getting up to a light. Uh, the interview went really, really well. He likes, he liked me, he liked my experience and my history and what I know and what I can do and um, everything else. So it went well. I We're gonna talk next week. He, he hired me for it, which is awesome, but the hours are gonna be anywhere, you know, from five hours to 30 hours a week. It's just gonna depend how that guy went bruising buns next to me um so yeah it, it's exciting hopefully it's just going to be one step closer closer to closing that that uh you know that that gap the the lack of child support gap um but that makes job number eight <laughs> so i have eight sources of income now it's just absurd and there's times where i'm like oh man maybe if i just got a full-time like super high paying job like everything would just go away but finding that perfect job in this market is just it's really hard and one I, and I have but you know they've been short we're like seven grand off and then there's other jobs where it's um, it's good but the hours are like yeah you know it's it's one of those jobs where we just we work and I've I've had those those salary positions before where you're working 80 hours a week and I just I can't swing it like I can't not only you know have the kids gone for that long but be got back on for that long all right I have to show you guys the sunset I've talked about this before let me show you the sunset can you guys see this beauty look at that isn't that gorgeous all right, it's my turn. We are on our way home. It's eight o'clock. It's like past bedtime and obviously it's dark. We're starting to drive again, so I'm gonna turn this off. Tonight got late. It got late fast tonight. I don't even know the right way to say that. Um, it is now uh, almost nine, quarter to nine, and I am going to go work. So, yay, lucky me. I will probably work. I'm gonna plug my phone in because it's almost dead. And the, all these video clips from today off of it, but I'll probably work until at least midnight, probably like one. Yeah, I'd say at least one. So why are you getting another job <sighs> to add on another 10 to 30 hours a week? Like, I don't even know how I'm going to fill it in yet, but I'm hoping that I can actually like I'm gonna hire like a babysitter one day a week and go in and do a solid, you know, eight hours. Oh my God, that would be so nice. Just like a little escape, eight hours a week to just 
work and not be around any kids, <laughs> as horrible as that sounds. Um, I choose to be around my kids, you know, but oh, it would be so nice. So I'm going to do that for a while and then maybe I'll edit this while on my break, you know, I'm taking breaks and stuff like that. But I've got some, like I said, some Ben and Jerry's fish food left over that I'm going to be devouring. I've been thinking about it for like the last, oh, I don't know, two hours. Um, so, oh, what a day. What a day. Um, anyways, I'm going to go start working. Like I said, I've got at least three or four hours ahead of me. And, um, well, more than that. Even at that, it'll just be last night. I fell asleep on my laptop. So it'll be that again tonight. I can guarantee it. Um, oh, what the heck was I going to say? I don't even remember. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow I've got the girls. They'll be here at eight. And yeah, Deacon was supposed to do his homework tonight. Nor normally we don't have like such an adventurous after school day. Like it's just kind of too much on him. But it's friends that we haven't seen in a while, and they are like buddy buddies. What I didn't record is all the time we were playing at the park. So we went to the park, and my friend watched the kids, the boys. I think I said I might have talked about this. I don't even remember. And then we went back, and we played at the park until it was so dark that, like, bats were flying all over the place. So we're like, okay, we should probably go. Um, so it was a little bit later than what, you know, what we should do or what we normally do, but it was fun. We had a really good time. It was nice catching up and just being able to kind of like, you know, talk for a little bit and and regroup. Miss my friends. Uh, yeah. So, all right. I don't want to go work. I got. I'm gonna go change. I need to take a shower. But I don't want to go work. All right. I'm sure people sit like this at their desk and avoid it. I used to. Or like, email your friends. Oh, I miss doing that. Megan, we'd email. Oh my gosh, we, oh, I shouldn't even talk about this. <laughs> like we planned like our vacations at work, emailing. I did my grocery plan, like or my, my grocery, my meal plan, my grocery list at work. Oh, it was peaceful. I miss that. If I go in and work a solid day or whatever, it won't be. It'll be like seriously like working. It won't be like a salary position where I'm working a lot, but okay. All right, let's go. Bed, work, work time. Bye guys. <laughs>